poor Kenneth Gladney. He's a conservative activist from St. Louis. He's 38 years old. And he went to a town hall event, you know, with, and he was passing out these little things that said, don't tread on me. And he was just trying to voice his opinion as a, a good American when he was viciously beaten by union thugs from the SEIU. How do I know my conservative sources told me? In fact, some of this was reported in the St. Louis Dispatch. They took it straight from the conservative sources. Let's uh, give you some of the quotes here. Saying, he went to the ground. De de explaining what happened to poor Gladney uh, during a scuffle with the SEIU. Subsequently, two other SEIU representatives or members, however you want to say it, jumped on top of him, yelled racial epithets at him, kicked him, punched him, he sustained injuries to his back, some bruising. Later, Kenneth would check into the hospital for injuries to his knee, back, elbow, shoulder, and face. Okay, God, this was... This is sickening what these leftist union guys have done. Uh, by the way, in a little bit, we're going to show you the video of this vicious beating. You're going to want to see that. All right, continuing with the description. Uh, the SEIU member used a racial slur against Kenneth, then punched him in the face. Kenneth fell to the ground. Another SEIU, SEIU member yelled racial epithets at Kenneth as he kicked him in the head and back. Kenneth was also brutally attacked by one other male SEIU member and an unidentified woman. The three men were clearly SEIU members and they were wearing t-shirts with SEIU logo. The Weekly Standard uh, called this vicious union thugs severely beating poor Kenneth. All right, now look, he was beaten so badly, he's in a wheelchair now. And he, I don't know, he apparently de developed some sort of speech impediment or he was so heavily sedated because of all the pain that he's going through. That we have a video here of his press conference where his lawyer is going to do the speaking for him. Let's watch this poor guy who was viciously attacked by the union. Today's, today's gathering is not about health care. It's about freedom of speech and it's about protection from our government. Yes, yes. The man Thank who you. knows the most about what happens when the White House decides to shut us up through force is under heavy medication and can't speak today. So I'm mm. going to turn this over to his attorney, Mr. David Brown. All right. You see Kenneth on the right there in the wheelchair. Poor guy. Ken wants to thank you all for coming out today, and I have a prepared statement uh, from Ken. Last night I sat down and took a deep breath. And I tell you, I really needed to take a deep breath. With pen and paper in hand, trying to think of what I feel is most important to me. I wrote down one simple word. Liberty. Oh, mm, 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 so powerful. All right, so, okay, now, like this man, he's in so much pain, you know, and he's in the wheelchair. You see him, you see what these leftists have done to him. So uh, n now we're going to give you some more irony after this next video here. But finally, it's time to show you what uh, conservative websites have called this vicious beating. And you're going to see it here in the video. First, we're going to show you the actual event. I'm going to show it to you a couple of times because it's, it's, it only lasts about eight seconds. Uh, and to give you a sense of how it went down. Now, Kenneth is going to be, you, you don't see him in the very beginning. You will see him fall down at, uh, you know, about halfway through this. He's wearing a tan shirt. Okay. Now you'll see a man on the ground when it starts. He's from the SEIU. Okay. So the guy on the ground is not a conservative. He's from the union. Okay. So now let's watch the tape. I don't want to get involved in that at all. That's not Ken yet. There he is. Okay. You could barely see him there. Now that was the extent of it. Now we're going to show you the whole video in a second. But you could hardly see Kenneth there, but you see a guy in blue and he's either pulling Kenneth down or Kenneth is falling on top of him and they both fall. The guy on the ground is a union member. Now apparently that vicious beating has drawn no interest whatsoever. Now did once he was on the ground, did he get punched? Did he get kicked? Did he get beaten? Did all these same things, things happen? Well, we've got to give you the video in its full context because you don't know. The vicious beating is probably just about to happen, right? So let's watch the whole video here. 
I don't want to get involved in that with that at all. Alright, he's down. Alright. And he's up. He's holding his shoulder. Oh no, that's not him. That's him right there in the tent. He's not even holding his shoulder. The guy who viciously beat him is holding his shoulder. There he is standing up right there. Where's the bandage on his knee? Oh, that comes later. Does he look like he just got punched in the face or kicked in the head? Well, we saw the video. The guy attacked me. This guy. The black guy there. Why? I don't know. I'm standing here. You saw me. I'm standing here selling my ass money. He's waving that arm. Jesus. Elba doesn't fall off. Hey, Mike. Hey, if you guys want me to go in, that's fine. I, I figure I'll just record this. <laughs> And he walks away. He doesn't seem to need a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Well, for now, huh? Yeah. All right. Now, from that video, you can't tell what happened on the other side, right? It's entirely possible they did push Kenneth. Maybe they even punched Kenneth. I don't know. You, you saw the video for yourself, okay? You can go back and rewind that video. And the guy whose uh, back is to the camera who falls down along with him, it's, you can't tell if Kenneth is falling on top of him and he falls down, or Kenneth is pushing him and he falls down, or he's pulling down Kenneth with him. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt on all of that. When he was down, did you see anybody on the video kicking him in the head? Did you see, I mean, we heard curses. Did, we, did you hear any racial epithets? Maybe they said it earlier and we missed it. But was that the vicious beating that's described in these reports? And then he's in a wheelchair later. At the press conference, he's like, uh, 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 and he got... He's in a wheelchair. Did he look like he needed a wheelchair right after that? Look, if you don't believe me, just look at the video, okay? That's what happened during the meeting. If you're a Republican, maybe you look at that and go, yes, that was the most hideous, awful beating I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, so look, if someone beat, if someone hit him or assaulted him, they got to get arrested. I don't care who it is, right? And I don't care how slight it is. You don't push someone, you don't hit someone, and if the guy from the SEIU actually did that, he should be arrested. But to turn this guy into some sort of martyr, like, oh my God, he was brutalized, is, as you can tell from the tape, absurd. But here is where it gets really funny. They're collecting donations for him. Wait for it. Because he has no health insurance. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. He lost his job and he doesn't have any health insurance. So in his spare time, he goes to protest to make sure he doesn't get any health insurance. And then when he is, let's take their word for it, then when he's assaulted, he says, I, I'm, and then he's in a wheelchair, he says, I need help for my knee, back, et cetera, et cetera, because I don't have any insurance. Can you please help a brother and give me a donation? They're collecting money online. Kenneth, you would have been so much better served. If, do you understand Obama's plan? Kenneth would be entirely covered. He, he would, it's universal health care. Everybody gets it, okay? Not, it's not 100% universal health care, but Kenneth would definitely be covered. He would probably get a subsidy for that because it's not about the public option in that case. It's about covering everybody and the poor and the people who can't afford it. Or if you lost your job, you get a subsidy. That's a different part of the program, but it's there, okay? So he would have health insurance instead of begging online for donations right now. All right, that's point number one. Point number two is uh, they are, his attorney went on Fox News and said this is a hate crime. Now, the guy who hit him is black, they claim, okay? Uh, but nonetheless, since uh, they ye yelled a racial slur, and again, I don't know. We didn't see it on the tape, but he could have done it beforehand, 
Okay, so I'm not saying it didn't happen. You saw it for yourself. Uh, so that it should be investigated as a hate crime and Kenneth was attacked because he was black. Seems a bit of a stretch, but okay, right? But here comes the second fun part. What do you think Kenneth's going to do? Because he's a good conservative, right? Of course. Civil lawsuit. What happened? I thought you guys didn't believe in lawsuits. Tort reform, that's what's driving up medical costs and every other kind of cost in the country. Come on, everybody's suing one another. But Kenneth was badly, badly hurt, man. You saw his knee was bandaged. He's in there. He can hardly talk. He's in bad shape. Of course he has to sue the union. Somebody's looking to get paid. When it comes down to principles, man, they ain't got no principles. <laughs> okay, the minute you scratch a little flesh wound or whatever, who am I going to sue? What well, hate crime? Hate crime. Let's sue someone. Please give me donations. I have no health insurance. <laughs> Look at right now, Jesus is doing this in the control room. And that is exactly right, man. They're unbelievable. 